Hi there. Living in Cambodia has been a real lesson in cultural awareness, and one of the tidbits of culture that we as Americans really had to learn all over again was how to say our hellos and goodbyes in culturally acceptable ways. Like any language, there are formal ways to greet others. In English, we rarely take the opportunity to formally say good day. In fact, where I'm from, we typically are quite informal with anyone by greeting with a howdy, y'all. In Cambodia, like many Asian countries, the formal way to greet another is not just in what you say, but in what you do. Specifically, in Khmer culture, putting one's hands together is called a sampeap and is a very special part of greetings and leavings. Where did this concept of putting hands together come from exactly? A long, long time ago, when tribes lived around each other with whom they didn't share a common language, there were problems when people from one tribe and another met along the road. Perhaps one person might try to greet the other, but the other does not know what he's saying. It would be quite easy for tones and words to be misrepresented, and people take offense with each other. The closed fist is a sign of violence, fighting, and struggle. To show a fist to another may have been a sign of aggression, especially when the person had a weapon. So when a person crossed paths with another and was unarmed, he might throw his hands up with open palms as though to say, I'm unarmed, I, I come in peace. The open palms would de-escalate the tension. It became known as the opposite sign of the closed fist. The thought was that even if we can't speak the same language, we could show our common humanity by showing our palms. This sign of peace evolved to where two hands came together and formed a peaceful greeting called the Sampayap. It's a sign of happiness, peace, and brotherly kindness. This is a straight-on look at someone with their hands together. While it's terribly drawn, it's meant to show two flat palms together. In many Southeast Asian countries, including Cambodia, the lotus flower is a symbol of peace. Therefore, the correct Sampayap is to model one's hand after the lotus flower. Since this drawing is so bad, allow me to demonstrate with a hand cameo. Yep, this is a sampeap, modeled after the lotus flower. Another element to properly say hello and goodbye is to position your hands in the appropriate place next to your face. When you greet those who are your age, older, or younger, your sampeap should be at the appropriate level to your face. In this example, I will draw myself. No judging. If I were to greet someone who is my age or my friend, my fingertips are at the top of my chest. Greeting new people, especially older people, and showing respect to my parents and people their age means I will sampay up with my fingers at my chin. As Buddhists revere the king as traditionally divine, and monks being the servants of the Buddhist faith, Khmer people will sampay up with their fingertips at their eyes. Even higher, if one were to approach God directly, or any holy being according to the Buddhist beliefs, one would sampay up with their fingertips as high as their forehead. While I write these again for clarity, please remember that I am an American living in Cambodia and therefore do not know the subtleties like a native Khmer person would. As an American, I relate to a culture where we can shake hands in most formal and informal situations. We can also simply wave to each other if we're strangers or if we're acquainted. To some pap in our culture would not have any meaning and would most likely confuse the person we're trying to greet. In Cambodia, shaking hands is fairly common, especially from man to man or woman to woman and in a business setting. Waving is common here too, although my neighbors and friends typically bow and wave, whereas Americans usually only use their hands to wave. However, the some pap is very important. If you don't sound pap when someone undoes, it's very rude and disrespectful. They will be thinking bad of you. I can't help but tell of a time when I first traveled to Cambodia when I embarrassed myself and a new friend. In Cambodian culture, especially rural culture, opposite gender does not touch. The sound pap is helpful to keep that distance and yet show gratitude. After staying in a family's house for a few days, we were ready to depart. I went to hug our host as she had been so hospitable. Her immediate withdrawal and flinch were signs that I was trying to do a huge no-no. Instead, the Sampamp would have been the perfect way to say thank you. For me, that's incredibly tough. The church that sent us here is notorious for hugging. However, in Phnom Penh, the Sampamp is king. And while I dutifully perform the Sampamp for respect to culture, 
any of my Kamai friends and family want to hug, you know where to find me. Okay, this drawing is hilariously terrible. What am I even doing here? Is that a hug? It's like I'm doing Michael Jackson's Thriller dance towards her or something. No wonder she's horrified.